the most important learning, I think, is that we can activate and host an application on the SIM in a mobile, uh, mobile phone, and that that provided consumers and participants in the pilot with greater degrees of security, greater degrees of convenience, and most importantly, greater degrees of improved service. And that really unfolded in the results that, uh, that we had uh, as part of the research associated with the pilot. For example, 90% of the participants in the pilot said that they were very satisfied with the service and being able to perform a payment transaction using a mobile phone. About 95% of participants said that they would use this technology in the future. And most importantly, 78% of participants uh, in, the, in the pilot would recommend this to, to friend and family. So there's a high degree of satisfaction, high degree of, uh, of participation. So we can expect quite a, an enthusiastic response from the market once this service becomes available. Well, with any new innovation and any new technology, the first greatest challenge is about education. And this is to do with how consumers get their services activated and deactivated uh, when, once, the, uh, once the pilot had, uh, had concluded. So I think education is a critical component and a critical learning going forward. And here, I think financial institutions, merchants, and in fact, mobile operators all have an important role to collaborate and figure out the best way with which we can educate the market. The second most important uh, learning, I think, as well, was that uh, merchants have an opportunity to create and design new services such as loyalty uh, and coupons because all of a sudden you now have a one-to-one -one relationship with your customers and this is something that technology has not been able to achieve before in the past. Now the mobile device gives you an ability to create a one-to-one -one relationship with your customer. There are three key benefits that the mobile device brings over and above the plastic card. That is greater levels of security, greater levels of convenience, and most importantly, improved service. When it comes to security, the mobile device is pin pad protected. You can pin protect your, your phone and you pin protect your SIM, most importantly. So having your applications on the SIM provides you with greater degrees of security that plastic doesn't have today. When it comes to convenience, being able to have all of your applications on the SIM in a centralised place on your phone, again, provides you with greater degrees of, of uh, convenience because, let's face it, we've all got plastic cards that sit in a drawer at home that we just, you know, our wallet doesn't have space for. And lastly, and most importantly, when it comes to service, having the ability to have all of your applications activated over the air onto your SIM and deactivated uh, at, your, uh, at your call makes for a very, very good service proposition to consumers. Well, when we think about contactless, the first step in the process is to convince consumers to start transacting with the contactless cards that are already available to them today. So major financial institutions are already issuing us with contactless cards. So the first step in the process is start transacting using contactless instead of using your card to sort of insert into an FPOS device or swiping it through an FPOS device, try just waving it past a reader and see what the experience is like. So I think the first step in the process is consumer education to use your cards in a contactless manner as distinct from the traditional ways of performing a payment. I think the other, the other key thing is that you know, merchants um, understanding the proposition associated with contactless in terms of faster queue times, getting customers through uh, their queues much, much more efficiently provides for a greater service experience. So I think encouraging customers at the point of service to use their contactless cards if they have them is a great step in the right direction in terms of education for consumers. an important forum uh, because there's a lot of information that's now emerging right around the world. Developments are occurring every week, uh, whether you're a financial institution, whether you're a merchant, and I think you need to be on the front end of that thinking. You need to learn about, I guess, 
how these new applications, new services are being developed, created, what are the experiences. So I think these kinds of forums, and this forum is an important one to come and learn about experiences that are going on uh, around the world, uh, good and bad, and to take from that some thinking in terms of, well then, how can you participate? How can you capitalise in on this opportunity? There's going to be experts from right around the world participating in this forum. Great forum to come and learn.